Hey guys, the video you're about to watch, Dad filmed the whole thing. You guys wanted a review or a kind of a tour of that Sassy Massey, the 4707. The only time I've ever ran it was the day we got it. So I gave a camera to Dad at the beginning of the year, and I gave him the, gave him a camera to Dad at the end of the year. So you kind of get in a little bit of his first impressions and what he thinks of it after he's used it for one whole season, uh, using it as a finished motor tractor over at the farm. He's got, I think, I think he ended up finding he has a little over 100 hours on that tractor. So this is his thoughts. Don't forget to turn on your uh, closed captions. I will make sure there are subtitles on this video because there's 15 minutes of dad talking. Let me know what your favorite ones are. Also, happy Halloween. This is Halloween and we are extremely close to 100K. Let's see if we can get it today. Some people wanted a video of the Sassy Massey, so that's what this video is going to be. I'll show Dad this camera and give his opinion on it. He doesn't have a whole lot of time in it just yet. He's probably only used it at about maybe 20 hours. But he has mowed a lot of steep hills with it in those 20 hours. He's pulling his 15-foot bat, bat wing finish mower. He mows all of the home farm with that. Keeps it all mowed pretty well. Tries to mow it a couple times. At least two to four times a month. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, Dax, we're on video. See, Dax, you're on video. Yeah. We're going to show everybody what this little Massey is. It's a little 4707. And we got a 15 foot finish mower behind us. Uh, front farming, it's a frontier mower. I think it's like a 2002 or three. It's got some age on it. Love to replace it, but uh, that thing's as much as a big one, about fifteen or twenty thousand dollars, about what they sell for. So I guess we use this one. We mow a lot with it. About every week we have to mow, so it takes about four or five hours to mow. And uh, so we did trade the tractor. Had a little fifty-three John Deere, fifty-three twenty John Deere on it. I really liked it, but uh, we got a chance to upgrade a little bit. So this is a little bit bigger. And when I first got it, I think I got thirty hours on it. I uh, didn't think it had much torque, but it seems like it's uh, pretty good. Going up this hill, I'll show you here, it uh, kind of surprised me. So this grass is pretty tall. I've got one more pass here, but uh, we'll show you. I'll show you the controls here. These are about like the John Deere was, controls, this throttle, gear shift, and uh, you know, it's got four-wheel drives, kind of push button, and differential on the PTO. That's your hitch, three-point hitch. All your light stuff over here. That's throttle. It's got a neat feature here. It's I can uh, push this button and it speeds my RPM up, as you can hear it probably, to uh, your PTO RPM, or you can set it. So it's got a forward and reverse, which is pretty neat. And uh, we'll see what we can do here. We'll show you going up the hill here, what we're doing. Feel cool down. This is pretty steep. Dax is strapped in, so he got his seat belt on there. So it's like I say, this is steep. So it, it pulls pretty good. It pulls down a little bit. But in the grass, I've done most of them. It pulled down about four or five hundred RPM there, but it stayed right in there. Hung right in there, so it's, it's got pretty good torque curve. Got a loader on it. I uh, haven't used the loader really. I didn't come with it, so uh, we replaced the challenger, the little challenger, to so turn back a loader. Makes we need our loader, which we got. I guess two other big one and a back loader. Never have too many loaders. So we got that. This field mode. This is on Brian's on his house. We'll go over there and mow that and uh, cross the road and all over in there. I guess we got another strip here and about missed it. Dax found it. So we'll do it. Then we'll be down to this little field here. Uh, about three acres, two and a half, three acres here. Kind of steep. It used to be all woods right here. We cleared it off. You can see there's wood from the trees down in there. I settled some. Someday we need to fill it in some more. The old tractor, I could go sideways if you had to watch, and I don't know if this one's not quite used to it yet. It seemed pretty stable on the side hills. 
but I uh, just haven't found it out yet. Not real comfortable with it. Your you track, yeah, this is Dax's tractor. He calls it his tractor, so he gets a little older where he can reach pedals. It'll be his tractor. He'll get to mow with it, do whatever. See, that's where we're just mowed. I usually kind of go down that. Right here, I can go sideways. <clears throat> this is real steep here, so I'd go down it. That's what a different other tractor do. Stag on speed. It's worth it. And worth upsetting. Okay, we're in this other field here. Blow the uh, old bins and blow my house. The office. Oh, it does a pretty good job. Just uh, got to check the tires on and off. And, uh, they're old and they hold the air a lot. Just pump them up every time. Sometimes they'll go flat. And uh, I put new ones on still. They, they kind of you know, don't want to hold air too good. So. This here I can get a little faster because I mowed it here a week ago. The other one hadn't been mowed for a couple weeks. It's just bigger grass. If I go too fast, it'll burn the belts off the mower. I, they're getting old. I smoked one the other night there, the other day. And it's still gone, so I don't want to. I don't have any spares, so I got to get some more. He puts new blades on it, also. What do you think, Dax? You like this? Your tractor? You don't need to turn the subtitles on for Dax. Do it, Dax. You gonna say anything, Dax? You're not gonna say anything. How come? You don't want to talk? No. Okay, I don't know if this thing's working or someplace like it. I don't know. Anyway, uh, somebody asked how I like this little match. So far, I really like it. Uh, you know, cab's nice. A little bit harder to get in and out of, maybe. Uh, it's got a buddy seat for Dax to ride or whoever wants to ride. So that's kind of nice for green kids. Uh, the loader, you know, I don't really need it, but it's on there. So far, it's not in the way. Uh, but I'm so far, I like it. Control over everything good and quiet. And, uh, really, it's quiet. I just, uh, it's not too quiet. Usually, I just get in here and mow. And this time, I get away from everything, mow all day, mow for three or four hours. But this was just too quiet. But for some reason, I don't know. If, I guess if I had a radio, it sure help. I had a radio in my other one. I was supposed to be getting the radio for this one, though. I sure haven't heard it or seen it yet, Gordon. If Gordon's watching, I don't know. Maybe I'll get a radio someday, but uh, it would be nice. It's a little bigger tractor than my other one was, John Deere, which is okay. I thought it might be a little bit too big for these hills and for the mower, but it uh, seemed like it stays on top of the ground. I don't think it's quite as wet as being in this field here. It could be a little wet. But so far, it's not sinking in. Seem too bad. Leave any tracks, so it don't do. This used to go before we filled this bin. It was a pasture. We used to put hogs in here. Dad always put corn in it. Used to go clear up there to where his truck's at. About the same depth as this, and just a valley like. We filled it in when we built the bins. It just keep filling in, keep filling in for several years. Say where where that shop's at. It used to be over the edge. We just kept filling in. See where it's kind of settled right there. It's really steep right. He put some more dirt in there sometimes. Dax likes to ride in it, don't you, Dax? Yeah. Yep, yeah, he, he likes yeah. it, so that's all that matters. Great kids like it. Hey, everyone. Ryan wanted me to make a uh, tell about the little Massey 4707. I made, uh, took a video of it earlier here in the summer. I guess the camera didn't work, so that happens. So, I'll try to tell you a little bit of now about it. This might be the last time I use it for mowing. I got some other things to do with it. But I like the little tractor. It's, uh, bear with me here. I'm mowing around this stuff. It's not camera friendly. There's no place to mount the camera. I had to make some mounts here. Put some flat pieces on the back. Stick to the back. Anyway, uh, I like the little tractor. It's got a quiet cab. Uh, quite a bit of room. Not real easy to get out. So you can see the seats right there, buddy seat. And not real easy getting in and out. Brian had a heck of a time getting in and out, right? Well, I'll show you some more on this. I got nothing load over there. I'll try to show you some more here. Just a little massive. It don't have a park. It's got a brink he had to put on, which most of them do anymore. PTO is. Uh, See, 
This is the PTO, how you gauge PTO. This is like uh, your your R engine RPM. This is the throttle, but you can hit this and it speeds it up to like uh, 1900 RPM and that's about 540 PTO. So that's nice. Hit it again and it goes back to idle. These are the hydraulic levers. This is four-wheel drive. This is differential lock. This is the three-point hitch. The four-wheel drive, that's something I, I need. I can't get along without the four-wheel drive because I have hills and what I mow is uh, it's not so much going up the hill, it's going down the hill. If you don't have four-wheel drive, the back end starts sliding. The boosh hog pushes you. This is a 15-foot uh, farming frontier mower, but this is the, the uh, loader. Loader's nice loader, got a big bucket. It's uh, not a loader you're going to use every day, haul gravel or something like that, but it's a good loader, farm loader. Got a quick attach bucket, if you can see right up right there. It's, I think they call it the, well, it's the skid steer bucket, same as skid steers. My other other challenger we had, we traded off a little one, had a European style quick attach bucket. But it, uh, the loader comes off quick also, pretty easy. Never had it off, but uh, this is the uh, signals, your lights, wiper, tilt steering wheel. If I tilt it here, push that up, and it'll tilt and it extend. This is a forward and backwards, a shuttle shift. This you can regulate the shuttle, how fast you want it, how sensitive it is. I don't even know how many hours I got on it, really. I think it's 226 mile, it looks like. Gallons per hour is three tenths of a gallon is an hour, it burns. I don't know how many hours on it, it's probably a couple hundred hours, probably. So I mow about every, oh, every week, when grass really growing, every couple weeks, try to stretch it out. If I get, like, get too big, then I can't run as fast with this mower, because, uh, say, it's getting old, and the belts will burn the belts up. This tractor is like 75 horse, does not have the uh, government juice, or DEF, I call it government juice. That's nice, it's 75 horse. Anything above 75 horse, then you have to use, they use the uh, DEF on, I think about all of it like that. So you got uh, six speeds, and a high and a low, like there's another one. And you can shift it here. This is like a push up button and that'll declutch it. And it shifts pretty good. Uh, I wish it had a power shift, but it doesn't. I don't know too many little motors do have power shifts. It's got a buddy seat, and that comes up, folds. Make it a little easier to get out. I'll get, get out and show you around it now. Okay, uh, the cab's quiet on it. Uh, it's a good cab. You see good out of it. Uh, the uh, got big tires on it. Like I say, four-wheel drive. It's got weights on the back. Uh, got pretty good lights on it. It's heavier than I've replaced my John Deere, which was a 5320, I believe. It was about 60 horse. And it wasn't as heavy as this tractor. Didn't have a loader on it either. I didn't need the loader, but uh, that's the way it comes, so I, it's handy sometimes you use it. Uh, it's only got a 540, which that's all I need. You can get a 1,000 RPM on it, three-point hitch and everything. It's got three outlets, remotes, wiper front and rear. And like I say, it's, it weighs, I think, around, oh, I don't know, 10,000, maybe it's not that, 90-some hundred pounds. But uh, it's, it's a nice tractor. I like it. The only dislike I don't, maybe, is it doesn't turn as short as John Deere. But there's some stops right in here, if you can see them right down that bolt, and I just never adjust them. I think I'm going to, this winter I'll try to do something to that, try to figure it out get it adjusted. But outside of that, it's, it's a pretty nice tractor. I like it. It does a good job. But like I say, the boost hog is just getting old, and I'd like to replace it, but then things aren't cheap. So that's, that's what we got. Like I say, I mow every couple weeks at least, or maybe every week sometimes. 30? About 30, I don't know, what, 35 acres, something like that. So it gets probably uses, I mean, it about as much as anything. But anyway, that's my Massey. So, uh, so far, if anybody's looking for a little, nice little tractor, 75 horse, well, you know, it, it's a nice little tractor. I guess I'd recommend it, but uh, everybody's got their own preference. But. Well, I was going to move this down here, move a little bit more, and then quit for the year. But, we picked up something, locked that blade up. That perk fell off. It's smoking pretty good. It was. 
so I guess we're done mowing for the year. This is behind my house, trying to get it mowed. Ain't gonna happen. Okay, I got out to go clean this mower off, and I hear something. Sound like a motor racing or something. And a rumble. And way over through there, about 15 miles, is Atomic Speedway. And they're having a big race tonight. But it's about uh, probably uh, 15 miles from here. But uh, we can hear them some nights, but kind of surprising because the air's coming out of the other way too. But. 